Sitaram Namaste, Dr. Raj the Hindu from Trinidad. This video is for all the young individuals out there, the young persons who have had the privilege of being born in a Sanatanist home. You are unique. You have had the darshan of the Lord already. That darshan is that you are born in the, to a Sanatanist home. So right here you are qualified. It's also for those who want to accept Sanatan Dharam and Hinduism as part and parcel of their life to give you that transformation to become a better individual, to understand things in a holistic way, to see the world in a more scientific and logical way. This is for you, the younger generation. You see, one of the goals and one of the most important facets of being a Sanatanist is you must have a guru, a spiritual guider, a person to give you that guidance that you need throughout your life for all the things that you need to do. First of all, you have to get a Rasi name. And your Rasi name is your correct name based on the alignments of the planet at the time of your birth. So that's very important. A young lady wants to me she have a puja name. I say that puja name is your Rasi name. It's your most important name. It's the name that you'll be known by to the Lord. So once you have decided to accept the part of Sanatan Dharam, being born in Sanatan Dharam, or accepting the way of life, the truthful way of life, you need to now examine who you want to choose as a guru. Your Guruji is very important to you for the rest of your life. Now you must examine the individuals who purport to be Brahmins, who give the impression that they are learned, who you may hear from time to time in different media, social media, television, on radio, or wherever. But one of the things that I'll advise you to do is when you are seeking a guru is to make sure you know the lineage of that person. The lineage of the individual will tell you a lot of the individual. You see, many persons pretend to be knowledgeable, but they are not. Sometimes a person may profess to be something and they pretend to be something and they are not. So you have to be very careful when choosing a guru. Now that guru is the one who is going to clear your path. Remember your guru is your connection with God. Your guru is your God on this earth. So too is your parents. Don't forget that. Your mother and father. So when you're choosing a guru, first of all, you cannot choose the guru of your mother and father to be your guru. So eliminate that. But maybe their guru might have a son or a grandson who is a practicing, practicing pundit who is knowledgeable of the Vedas, the Puranas, the Sastras, the Ramayana, the Gita. And that person may be someone you are attracted to. Now that attraction must be there. There must be a physical, chemical connection with the individual. But don't just say, I want to be christened by so-and-so. Or I want to accept so-and-so as my guru. Listen to that person. Go to the yajnas that that person is performing. Listen to them when they do a puja. Be connected at that spiritual level with that individual and then check the individual lineage. If that person could go back one generation, two generation, and you can see from one or two or three generation that there is a Brahmin trace or Brahmin characteristic of the individual. Their grandfather was a pundit, their father was a pundit, they are pundit, they are practicing pundit, and they behave in a very respectful manner. And they are the ones that people look up to and they don't do anything that is adharmic. That's the person you choose. The person might be not too much older than you, so it could be the grandson of that individual. But you want someone that you could connect to at all levels. I was very fortunate to follow my grand, my godfather when he used to stay at our home to do Puja, the Sagnagar Hindu temple in Sangre Grandi. 
and my mother said I was always following him around and I was attracted to him. But then as I got older, I started to listen to his yajnas and I realized he was the right person for me to give me that enlightenment. Do the very same thing, but be careful of those who are fly-by-night individuals who pretend that they are of a certain caste, that they can take you out of this Maya that we live and be able to give you that, that road to moksha. So my advice to all the young persons out there is please choose someone that is going to be so dynamic in your life that he is going to give you life-changing experiences. Jai Shri Ram.